Okay, so probably gonna be a quick little video because hopefully it's not gonna rain. It's kind of not happy over that way. It also is hailing probably like an hour or two ago here in Jupiter. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go see if, well, they're supposed to be playing. I see Martin Prado's in the game and I think JT Real Muta, not Real Muta, Riddle also. So let's see. Got a couple cards. There's a Roger Dean, kind of can't see. But uh, yeah, Jupiter Hammerheads and Palm Beach Cardinals. So, I don't think any Cardinals. I think Jose Martinez, I believe, was his name. For the Cardinals and a couple Marlins guys. So we shall see. Okay, we have made it in. $9, not bad. Oh, it looks a little bit nicer out here. Stay away rain, and this is a double header game, so. Set here, run and net some. Don't have to worry about that. So that should be Prado. What number is he? And 13, I think, is JT Riddle. At least seven. Second baseman, number Last 12, year he was Jose Martinez. 25. Oh, that was the one Cardinals guy I was talking about. Martin Lux. Cool rainbow going on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's middle? No. Top six. And I remember seeing JT was supposed to play five innings. Not sure about Prado, so I'm waiting right here. Oh. Maybe. Pot of gold under this rainbow. Okay, well, there's one of the two. And all we got left is Martin. Second baseman, number two, Riley Mayhan. I think I have a Riley Mayhan card. I believe Prado is right there. So he should be coming out of the game soon. And. Yeah, actually, JT gave a guy his bat. Pretty cool. I didn't did not think to ask for that. And success. I just handed him the two cards and he signed like right here. So that's pretty sweet. It literally just started raining. You could start. So good timing on that. I guess their doubleheader game plays till seventh inning, and they stop. Hammerheads lost four to five. Really close at the end, but yep. We did it though. Okay, so yeah, end of the game. Uh, it's either probably 50-50 on the sky right now, but that was pretty cool. Got to see a little bit of baseball, look both ways for across, across the street, and uh, yeah, that was pretty sweet. Got JT Riddle autograph. I should have handed JT like two cards like I did Fado. I didn't, I don't know why. Rooker move right there. But uh, yeah, I did see in the game that JT like sounded like he broke his bat and then I wasn't sure and I actually thought about it like when he did it I was like yo I should totally ask and then I saw him leave didn't ask and then some guy behind me was like JT can I have your broken bat and he's like sure man I was like cut <laughs> but yeah gotta pay attention better to that next time so yeah I would like to stay for the second game but it is honestly kind of chilly out not really just because like the rain and stuff and I'm a Florida person but uh yeah I think it's also gonna rain so we'll be back though because I got a bunch of hammerheads cards that I want to get signed by some of the guys so yeah always a fun time okay I forgot to show the cards because now back home there I couldn't really because everything was wet here I can lay stuff down so yeah we got JT Riddle I think it might have 
smeared a little bit like right there but not too bad at all not even really noticeable or anything because like when he handed it to me uh also and then martin prada got the 2018 heritage which i think looks awesome alan ginter always shows up nice here is it oh 17 and then this was 17 heritage so pretty sweet also one really funny thing um, I just got home and I like checked on Twitter and I saw the Jupiter Hammerhead's Twitter page. I'll insert the picture here. Posted about JT signing autographs for some fans and if you notice the green hat, I'm the fan. <laughs> so that was pretty funny. Uh, I had a... I was going to bring this picture of Martin Prado and I from last year when he was on the Hammerheads rehabbing, but um, really glad I didn't because I, I was like, it's probably going to rain and that's going to get destroyed and at least with the cards I can put in like a little Ziploc bag and they'll be fine. So that worked out perfectly. And yeah, uh, I think Martin, I think I heard him say to the one guy, other guy that was there, that he's got maybe a week left of rehab because I saw the Marlins were expecting him to be back this Friday or something and they might send him up to Jacksonville to play a game or, or something uh, I don't know but I think he's supposed to be back soon um, JT Riddle I am not sure at all about because he only played five of the seven innings so maybe he might get another start or two here which would be cool to see him again he's a pretty good player and yeah hopefully Prado uh, will stay healthy and hit some baseballs for the Marlins, so that'll be pretty cool. So that was a pretty fun time. Wish I would have could have stayed for the other game, but had to leave. And yes, as always, thank you for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Also, I just got in a little purchase. I guess it would be Jax Graphs 904 on YouTube. Check him out. Seems like a pretty nice guy and makes some good videos about getting a bunch of autographs in person kind of deal. And I saw he was selling some team sets, I guess it would be, of uh, a bunch of different teams, but I noticed he had some stuff from Hammerhead. So I got him, really good price. Uh, I think he's still probably selling stuff. So if you like a team, he probably has them. And yeah, I got a bunch of Hammerheads, I guess what's 2015, got 2016 Hammerheads. 2017 hammerheads which I probably should have take took with me tonight because there's probably some of those guys and there's no autographs in these but this one you can see I had 14 autographs this one had 21 autographs and also Greensboro grasshoppers which is another Marlins affiliate I guess it would be so I quickly went through them a bunch of autographs in there and I picked out I'm going to put those in the rest of the binder I just didn't get to do it but put it Pulled out some of my favorite dudes. So yeah, we got, uh, there was two Brian Anderson autographs in there. Pretty sweet, he's been playing really well. Um, we just saw him today, JT Riddle. <laughs> uh, Harlan Garcia, he's been pitching pretty well. Probably one of the best pitchers on the team right now. Um, Austin Dean, I have a card I wanna send to him. Dylan Peters. Which, he has a different autograph here, I'm guessing, because that's 2016. Then, where is it? Here. Where's Dylan? And here? Well, can't really see. His autograph still sucks, but <laughs> I wish it would show Peters in it, like I've always said. But, yeah, Dylan Peters. And then I saw there's two uh, Louis Castillo. Castillo. I'm not really sure the pronunciation of that. But we did get him... We got him through the mail twice, as you can see right there. Now he's on the Reds. Used to be on the Marlins, which sucks I didn't realize because uh, he was playing right here in Jupiter. Could have said what's up to him, you know? Yeah, you know, I totally trust the guy, but you can see autographs match up pretty well. I mean, that's three years ago now, so some things change, but for the most part, that looks straight to me. So thank you a lot, Jack Scrass. Uh, I'll link his channel in the description if you want to check it out. And yeah. Also just saw Marlins beat the Dodgers. 
Pretty sweet. And one thing I was gonna put in one of the TTM videos I've been making is I've been seeing a lot of people getting a Danny Echeverria back through the mail autographs and I wanted to do a little comparison because it was something I noticed. So these are all cards that, well, except for these two right here, this bottom left and this middle right, um, all cards that I, uh, I got of a Danny last year at Sprint, that's not a Danny, it's Justin Nicolino. Um, cause his autograph is a little different. Now I'm wondering if it is like new team, new me kind of thing, you know? Cause then this is what came back through the mail where I don't, I'm not sure what he was signing before, kind of, but on his new autograph, it kind of looks like he's just writing etch. I'm not sure if it's, is he three on the raise now? I'm not sure. So I don't know. And also got him on a ball. So, which this one looks kind of different than the old one. Huh. I guess he's all over with his autograph, maybe, so. I don't know. I thought that was something interesting. So, yep. So, yeah. Prado matches up with what we got from him before. This one, I remember, was during spring training. These are the two from today. And all these were from the rehab games, which I guess I've inadvertently started Martin Prado autograph. PC <laughs> since he's been so injured but yeah hopefully he plays healthy plays pretty well and for JT Riddle I guess we got the we got his one card from tonight we got the one card from Jack Scraft and the tops now from spring training so yeah pretty cool also another thing I, I was pointing out about this Lewis Brinson one I thought this was like a mark on the card, and I went on eBay looking to see uh, other cards of Lewis Brinson from this Bowman set. I think this is 2012 Bowman, and I saw the like paper version of this card, and that mark is totally like the catcher's glove, like behind him swinging. And I thought it the way it looks like on this prism, like refractor kind of thing. It totally looks like it's like a smudge or something on the card. So the card's perfectly fine. That's just the way it looks. It's like really hard to show off. Like in person, you can totally see this. It's just I really like it. Just I thought it was like a mark in the card, but it's the catcher's glove that just looks weird because the prism deal. Which I thought I was like, oh, well, that makes sense. 